Hey guys, so as you guys probably noticed, we did not post the video yesterday because something very scary happened to us. So, here's our car. And we're gonna look inside. Look at this, guys. Do you see that? That looks so bad. So our car, this is our family car. It actually caught on fire last night. And this is the end result. This is from the fire extinguisher. That's what all of this like white powder dust is. So basically what happened was I came out of the gas station, started the car, and saw orange flames through like like under the roof like the front of the car and a few seconds later smoke started coming out of all of the vents so like it was dark out so it was really bright like the whole under of the um hood of the car not the roof the hood of the car was bright orange like glowing and smoke was just pouring out of the vent so of course I turned the car off and the fire was still there obviously so a lady saw what was going on and she went inside the store I was parked right in front of the store not even at a gas pump nowhere that would have triggered a fire so this was just like a freak accident but it was 7-Eleven parked right in front, like right by the doors. But a lady saw what was going on and she screamed that we needed a fire put out. And a whole bunch of people came running out of the gas station and they had fire extinguishers and they sprayed the fire. And then the fire company showed up. It seemed like forever, but they showed up pretty quick and they... I'm going to show you guys the other side. And they took care of the rest. I don't even know if it was fully put out by the fire extinguishers. I think the firefighters had to put some out too. Because what happened was it started under the hood of the car. And it was spreading. So this is where it spread to. And where they stopped it. I think this is like called the panel of the car. I don't know if you guys can see that too well let me flip up the camera you can see right here this is a really bad part of it and it goes all the way down here the car was literally in flames guys it was pretty bad it was really bad you can see up here so what we think happened was like an electrical fire like the car had some sort of electrical problem that set off the fire when the car was started and you can see right here the heat was so bad maybe you can see it I'm not sure but there's cracks in the windshield from the heat and there's a lot of black smoke So we think it was an electrical fire that set off once the car was started, it triggered it and it caught fire. And then it, like I said, it started under the hood and then it spread to the passenger side. And this is the worst part of it right here, which is pretty pretty bad if it wasn't put out it would have definitely spread throughout the car oh my gosh but yeah all of this is from the fire extinguisher all of our stuff that was in the glove box is destroyed that was all on fire but that's really it's really bad guys and I talked to the guy who is coming tomorrow from my insurance company 
and he said it's probably totaled from what I told him, which I'm really upset about. I love this car, guys. It's a 2013 Nissan Pathfinder Platinum. And this is like the best car I've ever had. I love it so much. I wonder if it did any damage to the roof. So the, um, look, it has two sunroofs. I just love it so much. Obviously, though, if it's totaled, it's totaled. I don't want to try to fix something that can't be fixed. Thankfully, the kids weren't in the car. Thankfully, nobody was hurt. It could have been bad, guys. Cars that catch on fire can blow up or fires can spread a lot quicker and people get hurt. So I'm just thankful cars can be replaced. Maybe I will look into like a van or something since the baby is coming, although the baby would have fit in here. Obviously, our whole family would fit in here. It fits three, six, seven, eight people and our family Oh, the seat's down in the back, but we're going to have seven of us in here. I'm like out of breath, <laughs> but I just love it so much. And if it's totaled, it's totaled. Maybe I'll look into a van. Bernie doesn't want a van. He doesn't like driving a van. We've had a van before. He likes the whole SUV type thing. And for me, it doesn't matter. A van, a car, whatever has more room is what I love. I love room. Space in a car is always good. We've had SUVs that, like before this we had a Volvo and we didn't have much room in the Volvo. I mean we did, but with all of us in there and all of our stuff, car seats, diaper bags, things like that, it seemed like there wasn't so much room. But this one was a lot bigger and a van will be even bigger if that's what we decide to get. But yeah guys, I'm so sad. I was saying something, I forget what I was saying though. Oh, the guy from my insurance company is coming tomorrow, and he did say that what I told him about the car, that it sounds like it's totaled, but he's coming tomorrow to inspect the car and let us know what's going to happen after this and what we can do. We're probably just going to get a rental car for now until we know what's going on with the car and what other options that we have but the fire oh that's what i was saying the fire company they unplugged the battery so nothing would trigger you know another fire and we wouldn't have a fire in our house in front of our house start up in our car again but this is it guys car was legitimately up in flames so scary so 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 scary but that is why we did not post yesterday guys so i wanted to let you know and show you guys what exactly happened that's where it came up from looks so bad but thank you guys so much for watching we'll let you know any updates that we have and i'm gonna post this video just to let you guys know why we didn't post and like I said we'll let you know any updates on the car if we get a new car we'll probably vlog that and show you guys but that is what is going on for now unfortunately and we're just gonna wait for the guy to come tomorrow inspect the car and see what we can do from here this is this is really sad to me I love my car guys all right so we'll see you on our next video bye